Hey guys, <sighs> Congresswoman Kat Kamak here. It is about five till noon on Thursday and we have some news. The Nancy Pelosi Democrat Caucus, uh, they dropped at 3.15 yesterday after a total shellacking in uh, the November 2nd elections where Americans clearly sent a message to the Democrats across the country that they were not in favor of their radical left agenda. Nancy Pelosi has decided that she's going to move forward with the reconciliation bill. Let me show you what they sent us yesterday at three o'clock. This is over 2000 pages. It's front and back, as you can see. We've already started digging into it and there are some pretty egregious things in here that you guys need to know about. And they are so desperate after the massive um, loss that they took across the country they are panicking. They think that this is their only little tiny window that they can force this garbage bill, the Build Back Better, which I call Build Back Broke Agenda. They want to ram this down our throats. Let me tell you just a few thing that, things that are in this bill. Obviously, it has not been scored by the CBO, which is the Congressional Budget Office, so they really can't tell us how much it costs. We know that it's more than the $1.9 trillion that they're saying it's going to cost. Keep in mind, reconciliation, it's not the infrastructure package, but the two are tied together. So you have a $1.2 trillion infrastructure package and a 1.9 reconciliation package, and the two have to go together in order for the programs within them to exist. What does that mean? Well, much of what is in this bill, the reconciliation bill, is Green New Deal. $550 billion of Green New Deal initiatives are in this bill. Here's an example of one of the Green New Deal initiatives that will hit every single one of us every single day. If you are a meat eater, if you enjoy a hamburger, a hot dog, a steak, pork chop, anything, right? If you are a consumer of uh, protein, um, and not plant place, uh, plant based protein, but this is going to do something insane. Let me break this down. In this bill, they want to put a fee, and by they, I mean Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats and Biden, AOC and the squad, they want a per head fee, $4,500 per, per beef cow, $6,500 per dairy cow, about $2,500 per hog. What does that mean? That means if you break it down, it's about $1,200 is what you, you, you can sell uh, a beef cow for. So the, the rancher is not going to absorb that cost. That's going to get cost down to con pass down to consumers, right? So if you're in the grocery store and you're buying ground beef for dinner, you're going to make hamburgers for dinner, Say you're a family of four, you have about eight to 10 ounces of beef in, in a normal hamburger patty. Um, you, right now, it's like $3.89 per pound for ground beef. That is going to make the cost per pound on ground beef go up to $10. So for you, just to get the ground beef for burgers for dinner night, right, that's going to be over $20 in just the, the cost for the ground beef. Then, because of the tax on the dairy cows, that's the cheese, right? And so you're gonna see the cost of food go up three to six times the amount. And that's just in the grocery store. And guess what? It's not corporations that are gonna pay this. It's, it's not some multi-conglomerate that's gonna pay this. It's not wealthy people that's gonna pay it. It's you and me. It's your working class people, your teachers, your firefighters, your nurses, your, your everyday Americans, we are gonna be paying this. In my family, my husband does the grocery shopping and he, um, he will tell me what's you know, going on in, the, in, in terms of the prices in the store, you know, and it's, it's gonna be very, very painful, not just at the pump, because of course this bill has all kinds of ridiculous anti, 
independent uh, energy independence provisions in it, but now they're going after our food source. This is crazy. Let me just say that again. They are trying to put a $6,500 methane fee on every single dairy cow in America. There are 30 million dairy cows in America. On beef cattle, they want to charge $4,500 per beef cow in America. There are 93 million beef cows in America today. $2,500 per hog. The cost of meat is going to skyrocket. And this is all because of AOC's Green New Deal. They don't want to have agriculture in America anymore. And if you do not have a nation with a secure food source, you do not have a secure nation. So that's one of the provisions that has now been tucked into this bill, this 20, 2100 page bill. This has been tucked into this bill that Nancy Pelosi is trying to force a vote on tomorrow. They think that they, that torpedoes be damned, the American people will accept our will, they will bend, right? That's what they want. Also in this bill, we just found $300 million giveaways to teachers unions. It's like they didn't get the message in Virginia that mama bears will protect their cubs at all costs. We, as parents, are responsible for educating our kids, not the teachers unions. What does Nancy Pelosi and Biden want to do? They want to give more power to the teachers unions. $300 million to the teachers unions in this bill. Also in this bill, they want to bail out community newspapers. Ah, but there's a, there's a catch. When the federal government gives money to your local hometown paper, guess what? All of a sudden, they're going to be controlling content because why would you bite the hand that feeds you? So not only are they trying to take over our food source, and, and drive it overseas so that we're dependent on foreign nations to import our food. They're trying to absolutely empower the teachers unions so that they can continue to push CRT nonsense on our kids. But now they're trying to take over hometown newspapers because mainstream media wasn't enough for them to take over, of course. We don't even have the CBO score on this. This is going to be trillions of dollars that we just simply can't afford, guys. We already know that there's amnesty in here. We know all the giveaways. We know that this is $80 billion in doubling of IRS agents. It's totally egregious. And I can't see the comments because the camera's too far away, but here's what we need. We need you guys to get on the phones. Call your member of Congress. Call your member of Congress. That is how we stop this. We shut down the Capitol switchboard. My Republican colleagues and I, we will not be supporting this bill. It is an absolute hard hell no. You can help stop this. You have been denying Nancy Pelosi the votes on this bill for over six weeks. You have stopped this and you can stop it once again, but we need you. Get on the phone, house.gov, house.gov, type in your zip code, find your member of Congress and call. Light up those phones and make sure that every single member of Congress up here knows that we will not stand for our country to turn into the socialist utopia that AOC and company want it to be. There's too much at stake. And quite literally, talking about the price of what steak is gonna be after this, heck, ground beef. It's just simply unaffordable. And we need you. Share, share, share this video. Let's educate our friends, our coworkers, our family, our neighbors about what is in this bill. I'm gonna be digging into this bill. Like I said, it's over 2,200 pages, front and back. This is it, it's in, in its entirety. This is what I'm gonna be digging into for the rest of the day, finding out all the egregious provisions in here. Don't forget, $80 billion that goes to the IRS to spy on Americans' bank accounts, amnesty for illegals, a slap in the face to every single family who's come here the right way to be uh, positive, contributing members of society. Um, it's $550 billion in Green New Deal subsidies, uh, $2.1 trillion in taxes for small mom and pop businesses. And you might have heard that OSHA just rolled out their rule today of vaccine mandates and all the costs that they are going to shove down every small mom and pop business on Main Street America. They just came out with that announcement today. It's 400 pages, guys, 400 pages of how big government is going to try to control our lives because that is what this uh, entire agenda is about. Nancy and Biden 
and AOC and company, they just want you to be dependent on government so that they can be in control. That's all that it is. We've got to keep up the fight. We are going to dig into this bill. I'll be sharing stuff with you as we go around um, today and finding out more of all the egregious um, things that are in here. Do not be fooled by uh, the Democrats and, and the talking points with all the giveaways. There's no such thing as a free lunch. There never has been. Somebody always pays. And let me tell you, under this bill, it's not going to be the wealthy. It's not going to be corporations. It's going to be you and me, everyday working class Americans. Because in this bill, the wealthy get more tax breaks than middle class America. And I say, hell no. That's BS. Let's send a message. House.gov. Get on those phones. Call your member of Congress, tell them absolutely no vote on this. Let's send a message like we sent on Tuesday that we will not accept a socialist America. We've got this, guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you're new to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking that middle button. Also, check out our previous video by clicking the video on the right or a video you might enjoy by clicking the video on the left. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and share this video on social media. Peace.